Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. We've been waiting a long time and it is finally time. 1998 to 13, Electra Glide, Street Glide, and Ultra Harley Davidson owners, we have your radio. Touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We are so excited to show you the new HDHU 9813 SG radio from Soundstream Reserve. So hang out and watch the rest of this video. I'll go over all the features so you'll know if it's the right radio for your bike. So, a few months ago, we released this game changer, the HDHU9813 RG for Road Glide. And so many of you commented, called, emailed, texted. You all said, when am I gonna get a radio? Well, I'm happy to tell you that it is finally here. I've seen it in person and we went over it in a previous video when we were in Las Vegas at Knowledge Fest. You can go back there if you wanna see the display shots from when we were looking at it there. The new radio will be here. We're expecting it April 30th. And on our website and along in this video, we have plenty of renderings and pictures to show you of the radio. It's gonna be designed very similar to the Road Glide radio as far as features, but the front's gonna be quite a bit different. As you see in the pictures that we're showing, the radio actually covers the neutral and turn signal indicators on your current fairing. This is gonna be built into the top of the HDHU9813 SG and simply unplug that connector in the fairing, plug it into the radio, and now it's moved to the screen of the radio. What's cool is this is a separate, uh, completely separate circuit. So even if the radio were to ever fail or go bad, those things still continue to work. All right, let's talk about the features of the new radio. It's IPX5 marine rated. IPX is the water ingress rating, meaning that it's completely sealed and it's good to a certain amount of pressure not letting water get in. It's way higher rated than we have to worry about for rain. Uh, it is not gonna be submersible like we're gonna dump it in the ocean, but it's gonna cover low pressure washing along with rain with no issues with water getting inside of the radio. Completely sealed front and back. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Simply plug your phone into the USB that's included with the radio and you will have all of your maps and apps that are deemed safe by Apple or Android up on screen of the radio. It also has built-in Bluetooth. So you do have wireless audio transfer through Bluetooth, but understand you will not have map or apps on screen unless you plug into your USB. It also has a 13 band EQ. This gives us a ton of sound control over our new speakers or amplifier or even your existing system. It retains CVO amplifiers. So if you do have a CVO with factory amps, they're still gonna work as well. The thumb control interface is built into the radio and is completely plug and play. So after removing the factory radio, putting this in its place, bolting it in with stock hardware, simply plugging it in is gonna make it work as well as keep your thumb controls functional also. There is no need to swap your fairing. And I wanna be clear on this, if you've already swapped to one of the Metra inner fairings that holds a doubled in radio, this radio will not fit. So do not buy this radio to go in a Metra fairing, it's not gonna fit it. What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep you from having to buy a $500 to $600 inner fairing and do all the labor to swap it. You don't have to do that at all. You're gonna take the stock radio out and this radio goes right back in its place. The screen is a fixed screen. It does not motorize, it does not fold, it does not remove. This is great because it's built into the radio chassis and once pushed into the fairing, into position, it is locked into place. There's a watertight seal on the back of the screen that keeps water from going into the fairing as well as into the radio. So with this, we're not gonna have to worry about weather and we're gonna have this awesome seven inch screen. I know the screen is hard to tell in the pictures how big it is, but it is a seven inch display. That's bigger than what we had on the 14 to 18 Harleys that had the boom 6.5 inch screen. And this is also the same size as the new HDHU 14 plus or SI in the newer models. And also the same size as the screen on our 98 to 13 RG radio. So the time is here. The game changer radio is here. We're also gonna offer it with amp and speaker bundles at volunteeraudio.com to make it completely plug and play to do an amazing upgrade to your bike. All right, so let's look at the back of the radio. So this is the RG model, but we're gonna have the same features on the Street Glide radio. We're gonna have a standard Motorola antenna connection as well as a built-in USB port. Now the USB is gonna be a little different for the Street Glide as it's gonna have a thread in uh, insert 
that you can replace your cigarette lighter with and move the USB there. Or you could drill a hole where you want and use the nut that, that comes with it to secure it to the fairing. It's also gonna have a camera input, so it'll do a backup camera and it will power it from this little pink wire on the back of the radio. So now you can put a camera on the back and anytime you touch the camera source on the front of the radio, it's gonna power that camera on and display it on screen. Great for you guys with the tri-glides as well. You're also gonna have front, rear, and sub RCA pre-outs. Now these RCAs are gonna work great. They're gonna work with differential input amplifiers wonderfully. And I say that because sound digital amplifiers use common ground and anytime you hook a common ground amp up to differential RCAs, you get weird noises. So in those cases, and actually anytime you're doing a Harley, we always recommend at Volunteer Audio doing high level or speaker level input to your amplifier. So when you get the radio, it's gonna come with this full plug and play harness. It's gonna plug in and lock right into the back of the radio and it's gonna plug into those factory connectors. On this harness, all the speaker wires are actually left where you can see them. So if you do decide to hook up an amplifier high level in, which is speaker level in, you can simply cut this plug, run from the radio to the input of the amps, from these plugs to the output of your amp, and you have the T-harness you need to install an amplifier without any crazy noises coming up. All right, the new radio is also Sirius XM compatible, meaning there's a port on the back. All you need is an SXV 300 V1 tuner to add Sirius XM to your new radio. If you purchase that at volunteeraudio.com, it's only $35. And as soon as you have subscribed to Sirius XM and paid for at least two months service, you can get a $60 statement credit for purchasing that tuner. So it actually works out they're paying you to get their tuner. But available uh, at the link above us at volunteeraudio.com for pre-order. April 30th is the estimated arrival date. It could be a little early, it could be a little late, uh, but we're gonna get them to you as quick as they come to us. We've right. been waiting a long time for this, and now we have four solutions. We have two 14 and newer radio options from Soundstream. They have been phenomenal so far. We have the 98 to 13 Road Glide Radio, and now the 98 to 13 Street Glide Radio, uh, which also fits Ultra and Electroglide. Now, we have ordered 200 of them at Volunteer Audio, pre-ordered 200. We know this is gonna be a hot seller, and there are not that many radios coming in on this first order. So the 200 we have, we're guaranteed, and that's all we loaded into our website. If, there's still, if it still lets you order it, it means we still have them available. So again, you don't have to replace your fairing. It's completely plug and play, adds all the modern features you've been wanting. I do wanna stop and tell you, you cannot retain CB, it will not do headsets, wired or wireless. Those are the only two things that this radio will not do that you may have had the ability to do with the stock radio. But other than that, it is an amazing radio. It's got a very strong internal amplifier. It's 50 watts by four peak power, as well as a great EQ, high pass and low pass filters built in, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, backup camera capability, Bluetooth, AM, FM, just about anything you could want in a radio. Plus, it's waterproof. I mean, how many other companies have made a radio that does a touchscreen in your bike that's waterproof? Zero. So Soundstream has finally filled that gap and that void. We think it's a complete game changer, and we're so excited to build all these new amp and speaker packages around this new radio at Volunteer Audio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has answered some of your questions. And as soon as we get one in our hands, uh, which we should get a pre-production model in a couple weeks, we'll do a video installing it on a bike, going over all the features in person with you so you can see everything there is to know about this new radio. But I wanna take the time and tell you about it since we launched the pre-order, what we had. There's great pictures on there. Great pictures been shown in here. If you have questions, comment below. Call us at one 30 audio or visit volunteeraudio.com. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.